Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB and ThingSpeak. Before I start today, I just want to give the intellectual property credit to there. And we can see it there as well. And we're looking at reacting to events in your data with the MATLAB. Just to so the reason why I'm doing this in the college I teach, we have a large number of engineering students and some of them are building engineering students. And I just want to show them a reasonably simple example of an IoT device and what they could do with it. So we have a solar panel on a roof. The Arduino measures those four uh, parameters there, or those four variables. And it's stored in ThingSpeak in that channel there. And there's a schematic. So, I'm going to highlight here. So, when the stored water temperature is 50 degrees or more, no need uh, to heat the store of water. Makes sense. So, the pump should be off. The pump should only turn on when the collector temperature is greater than the temperature of the stored water tank. If the pump turns itself on when the connector is cooler than the stored water temperature, valuable heat is lost from the stored water tank. So that's the key thing. So the owner would want to get an alert to to remind him that there is something wrong with the system. And how he's going to get an alert in this example, he's going to get a tweet. Now, I'm not showing you how to set up the tweet channel. That's for another day, but just to go on with that. So, I just go off here to the code. So, we're reading channel. This channel here. We're reading in three fields. Stored water temperature. The collector temperature is the pump on or off. And like a kettle, one is on and zero is off. On that line there. Simple as that. So data 1 is the stored water temperature, data 2 is the collector water temperature, and data 3 is the pump on or off, logical 1 or logical 0. So here we go. Do a little test there. Is the collector temperature less than the stored temperature? If that's true, we return a logical 1. If it's false, we return a logical 0. So is collector cooler? either be a logical one or a logical zero. Now, here's our event here. This lad here where the mouse is at the moment is a logical and. So if the pump is on and is collector cooler, in other words, collector temperature is less than the store temperature, if those two conditions are true, we have a, an event. Okay. I'll get to this in a second, to this piece of code here in a second. I took the, if you're doing this yourself, I took the piece of code from here, I copied and pasted it in with one or two things. If you're doing it yourself, that's a capital I, but MATLAB commands are all lowercase. So, Sorry about this. So that's a lowercase i. And then just the other slight error. To, I got the code to go in two lines. And when you want to display the second line, you say dot, 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 three dots in a row. And then the next line. So MATLAB will know that this line and this line are joined up. And those three dots tell MATLAB that to join up the two lines. The other thing to note, sorry for flicking. This bit here. Where do you get your Ting Tweet API key from? Well, if you go to my profile, account my profile, down here, there's the alerts API key. You copy and paste that 
and you bang it in there. So just to go over that again, you replace that with your alerts API key. So that's all done. We can just, I ran it 30 seconds ago, just clear output, save and run. Now there's a logical zero, so there's no alert to be sent. How do we set up the alert? Apps, time control, new time control, and this would be something, I'll do a new one now, this would be something like um, solar panel alert recurring minutes yeah every 10 minutes yeah MATLAB analysis and then the relevant piece of code and the relevant piece of code is um, reacting to events save time control So there we are. So if those two conditions hold true, what are those conditions? If the, um, just go back there a sec. If the pump is on when the collector is cooler than the store temperature, if those conditions are true, we'll get an alert sent to our, our Twitter channel. There, I have the code there to write the web event code. So we'll just look at that again. Just go back here in a sec. Apps, MATLAB analysis, reacting to events. We saw that a second ago. So if event detected, that's line 22. So if event, if that's true, do a web write there and we popped in my API key there, my alerts API key, the status alert solar pump error. Okay, so hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.